I just want to do a quick video for a holster from Foundry Holster Company, uh, specifically for the Kimber KDS-9C. Now, they also do the railed version. If you uh, want to get a holster uh, with a light attachment on it as well. Um, very good company. I, I, I had to go through customer service for um, a mild issue, um, which I'll get to in a moment. But I just want to point out that uh, their holster started 50 bucks. They have plain colors like this white that you see here. They do the carbon colors and the, uh, what is it? The um, printed, uh, printed uh, patterns. Um, you can do dual layer. Um, they have, you can get the maw wing. You can get it, uh, you can choose to have it off the cut. You can choose to, uh, if you have someone who runs a laser as well. Um, they have about a dozen or so different clips. This is just a basic foamy clip. This is plastic. If you are wondering, this is not metal. Seems durable. It doesn't seem like I'd have an issue with it, but it's one to point out this, this is plastic, not metal. Um, as far as fitment goes, it's in there. I cannot get it out. So you're not going to have an issue with fitment. And as you can see here, without me knocking the camera over, it's not hard to draw either. So you get, it's in there good and it's not hard to pull out. Um, for those that care, um, the gun is empty as well. Um, but yeah, they start at 50 bucks. And depending on what you do with it from there, that's up to you. It'll obviously add costs depending on what kind of customizations you want to make to the holster. Um, my run in with the customer service was I did not mention that I had the RMR HD, which overhangs. Let me flip this around. Um, sometimes it's about the angle you pull on, as you see how much easier it came off once I turned it. As you can see right here, it does overhang over the ejection port. And they kind of did a standard cut. And it didn't accommodate that overhang. So I couldn't fully holster the gun um, at the time. Uh, I contacted them through Facebook Messenger. And within an hour, I had a response. And by the end of that night, I had a return label sent to me, who I believe was the owner of Foundry Holster Company. And I sent it back within a week. I believe he cut it himself. Within a week, this holster was back in my possession with the deeper cut, which accommodated RMR HD. He apologized. Um, he he knows that you know the RMR HD overhangs over the ejection port a little bit, and I believe he kind of took the blame himself, where he maybe he should have. They should be cutting the optics to. Excuse me. Let me rephrase that. They should be cutting the holsters to accommodate all optics, and they did not. I don't blame them. It's a little bit of an odd design with the overhang here. Um, I should have mentioned it. If you are someone running the HD and it does overhang or ejection port, I would just mention it. I believe they would probably cut it deeper from here on out. I think it was kind of a learning experience for the company um, to accommodate, especially if you're getting – specifically if you're getting the Kimber KDS-9C. But excellent customer service. Didn't have to pay a dime. The whole transaction was smooth. Had it back me within a week. Can't say a good enough good enough things about the company and who I believe was the owner of the company. Um, you know, they they took care of me in a prompt manner. And like I said, I should have mentioned this, um, but I did not. So just bear that in mind. Um, but yeah, it fits good. It's comfortable. Um, there's no burrs. It's smooth cut inside. They did a real good job. I have no complaints, uh, conceals very well. And like I showed you earlier, like you're not gonna have any issue with it sliding or falling out. Um, I would say the only con, if you wanna call it that, is, um, and this is uh, the sweat guard here, which comes almost all the way to the gun, just so you see there. And you can see we're completely covered up there. There's a trigger guard underneath right here. Nice, well-made holster. But the only con is that I tend to like uh, a real loud, positive click when you're holstering your gun. And you can see there it's pretty low. It just kind of – you don't get like that loud snap uh, when you're putting it in. It, you hear a noise. There's a very mild click. Um, but 
you know, if just an audible, a louder audible retention click would have been nicer. But obviously, you still hear it. You just have to pay a little bit more attention. I guess I'll do it one more time. Bumping the camera here. Right there. It also depends on how hard you, you know, you reholster. But you're probably not going to be, you know, just jamming your gun down in there. But I just wanted to point that out. But like I said, good quality. Um, starting price, 50 bucks. Foundry Holster Company. Especially for people looking for a holster for the Kimber KDS-9C. Non or railed, whatever. Um, optic cut, lasers. Um, I highly recommend Foundry Holster Company. And they have other holsters for various other firearms if you do want to give them a look for something other than this specific firearm, okay? If there's anything maybe I missed or, you know, glossed over, I just try to point these out, put at, point out my experience with these holsters. I know I do the same thing. I'll try to look up Pacific Guns to find a holster, especially mainly when there's limited options. Or, like, if I can't just go to Vetter, I really like Vetter. Like, usually a lot of times if Vetter has... A holster for a gun that I have, um, I just usually a lot of times just go with better. That's just me personally. So when it's when there's not those obvious choices, like say yours is tier one, and you know like something like this, kind of more of an oddball gun, a lot of the more let's just say well known companies don't have it. You have to look elsewhere, and I ended up at Foundry Holster Company, and I couldn't be more happy with it. So, anyways, I don't. I want to keep this short. If there's any questions, something maybe I overlooked. Uh, just post it down in the comment section. But yeah, I recommend Foundry Holster Company. Thanks for watching and have a good day.